In this video, I'm going to show you the basic setup required for getting started with an Angular application. Uh, first, we require Node.js. Let's head towards Node.js.org and we see a couple of options here. Uh, there is a LTS, long-term support, 10.14.2 and the current 11.5.0. And uh, during installation, you might find something, a newer version here. So click on this to download. Let me save it on my desktop and open that which begins the installation process. This installation is pretty straightforward. Just go through the default options. And that's done. Now to verify I can go to a terminal or Windows command prompt and look for node dash dash version and that says 11.5.0. By installing node.js we would have also got npm using which we can install the necessary uh, the angular framework and its dependencies and npm dash dash version also may show you something like this 6.4.1. Now you can update the npm to a newer version by typing npm update dash g npm and on mac computers you may want to use sudo which might ask the administrator password on windows npm update dash g npm is good enough this will actually download the latest version of npm from internet and uh, mix that as your global installation. This might take a few seconds and once it is done, once again we can check uh, npm dash dash version and you should see 6.5.0. Now npm is node package manager used for installation of global packages, frameworks and project dependencies. So the second aspect of our project setup would be to install Angular. Now, when you say Angular, Angular is actually a bunch of libraries, but in order to get started with an Angular project, we have few options. Number one, if I go to resources here, I have few IDEs that can be used for creating an Angular project and the IDEs will take care of all those things. We will be using Visual Studio Code, but which is more like a text editor, but it's a very good tool for working with Angular. But there is a tooling support for Angular CLI. This is the command line interface, which allows us to create Angular projects quickly and also has lots and lots of options for us to generate few JavaScript or TypeScript code, plus build and deploy applications as well. So we'll be using this and for this purpose, we need to go back to the command prompt and install the Angular CLI. And to do that, I'll type npm dash g. You can say install dash dash g or dash g install, doesn't matter. And then I type uh, at angular slash CLI. And if you want to specify a particular version, you can say at, uh, by default, it is pointing to at latest. And again, I may require to use sudo because of the dash g installation. Uh, for a regular installation, you don't need uh, the sudo option. So I'm gonna, and this time it doesn't ask the password because it just asked previously. And uh, this Angular CLI uh, is a very useful tool, like I mentioned, uh, that it provides uh, lots and lots of options. Uh, to start with, it has an option to create a new project, uh, it has an option to start a development web server, and so on. So to verify if things are done, we can type ng dash dash version. ng is the command that got installed when we did the Angular CLI installation. And here it is, Angular CLI version 7.1.4, Node.js version 11.5.0. And few other uh, basic uh, versioning is listed over here, which is what we would be using. While there are many IDs available, one of the most uh, probably powerful IDs are um, the WebStorm, which is a commercial one. Uh, there, is a f um, there is also IntelliJ IDEA. 
which is uh, primarily meant for Java, but it is also uh, used for developing JavaScript applications. Uh, there is one Angular IDE by Web Eclipse. So people who are familiar with uh, Eclipse, uh, this is uh, an IDE built on top of Eclipse, so which is also a very nice one. But uh, the most commonly used one is Visual Studio Code, which is a fantastic text editor for creating, uh, for working with uh, JavaScript and TypeScript applications. And uh, this is the one that we would be using. It is from Microsoft, uh, based out of Atom. So you can visit code.visualstudio.com and uh, this identifies your OS and list out uh, uh, download links. So I already have this. Uh, it's a straightforward installation. Just download this. It's a zip file. Unzip that and start using that. So as simple as that. 